Hello, I'm Tara Nico, and today we're going to be looking at handwriting Japanese. This app is intended to help you learn to read and write in Japanese. And the first thing I'm going to show you about this app starts right here. So the first button we have here down here is the clear button. So you can make all the scribble scrabble and mistakes that you want and then erase it. The next button we have next to that is a play button. It plays an animation that shows you how to draw the character. The next button that we have after that is a listen button. You can listen to hear how the character is supposed to be pronounced. Like this is ah. Uh, uh, uh. Next character after that is a random button. It'll show you a random character. Like this E. So now we're going to go ahead and get into the menu. And the first thing we have in the menu is animation settings. This will actually change the stroke count or the amount of times it'll show the character for the animation for the play button, which is right down here. And the other one we have here is the speed, so you can actually speed it up. And then we have the brush thickness. You can change the, your brush stroke. I like it right about there. And then for the next one we'll need to clear this out. And you can actually change the background image thickness. And the next one that we have here will actually remove the background or place it back in. Another thing that's great about this app is that it has flashcards. Now, if you notice up here that you have these little check marks, these check marks are for your list. And you can go to your, my list right here in the list, and you'll just see your items listed there. This app also includes hiragana, katakana, JLPT N5 through N1, and the Joyo Kanji first through six, and the Joyo Kanji Junior. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Ja, matinee.